is Walker, as you can see, on the Amiga. This is a request by Trusteft. It has some very uh, sort of gloomy music and a nice sort of 3D rendered Walker there. And I guess this is some kind of intro sequence. Oh, I'm looking through. Oh god, fuck! Oh, the blood. Oh, that was a short intro. Right. Oh, it's your speech. It's difficult to hear him, though. Can't move. Ah, now I can move. Right, oh! Look at the little guys! It's, uh, it's like cannon fodder. <laughs> oh, girl, watch out for that temperature gauge at the top left. Oh, <laughs> look at that! They've got fucking chariots! Uh, the, uh, oh man, <laughs> the horse exploded. Um, the, uh, the thing said Berlin 1944, which is a bit strange, but. Oh, oh, they're not. They're horses uh, carrying those howitzers. Oh, God. Oh, they're bombing me. Shit. Yeah, this is some kind of uh, time traveling massive walker thing, and for some reason it's come to Berlin to, uh, to kill people for some reason. Um, some kind of temporal. Oh, that's brilliant. Some kind of temporal war, you know, going back in time and messing with history. Which, of course, leads to paradoxes. Right, so where is this Walker Command? Are they in the future? In, the, in which case, whoa! You can do this sort of lock-on thing, which is quite cool. Uh, uh, my status is I'm kicking ass. Oh damn, my gun temperature got high. Oh, shells. This is really cool. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Hey, those guys were coming on uh, very long bits of uh, rope there. Detail is lovely. I love these. Oh man! Shields are still doing alright. Oh god. I can't shoot backwards. There we go. Aerial targets. Okay. It's kind of hard to make out what they're actually saying. <laughs> oh, you can shoot their parachutes and they fall and splat. That's brilliant. Yeah, so the problem, of course, with any time travel thing where you go back and change the past is that you, uh, oh God, you end up preventing your own existence, usually. You change even the smallest thing in, in the past and inevitably there's going to be a chaos theory butterfly effect that ends up changing everything and kill the horse <laughs> oh this is a great deal of fun oh shield critical oh no had <laughs> their history it's funny because of course this is the past yeah I I had a very brief look at the manual, um, and uh, oh man, oh, the gun was overheating, and uh, there's some kind of plot, but who cares? It's just an excuse to blow shit up. Oh, <laughs> this is excellent carnage. I. S I remember sort of seeing this. Oh damn, my temperature! 
time. Die, scumbags. <laughs> I guess I am killing Nazis if this is Berlin uh, 1944. So I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Shields. Oh. I recharged. What? The status is I want to get on with it. I like the little head turns. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wish I could just step on him. I don't think I can. It's kind of hard to dodge when you take up a uh, significant portion of the screen. Oh, it's a train! <laughs> cool. Took the wind out of their train or something. Yeah, um, one interesting thing about this game is that it uses what was at the time an innovative control method uh, mouse and keyboard. You use uh, Z and X to move left and right and. Uh, um, and the mouse to aim, which is a lot like uh, the Wasad controls of many first-person shooters. So it feels very intuitive to uh, to a modern uh, to someone who's used, if you're used to a modern control system. Oh, oh God! It's a huge. Uh, Aircraft of some kind. Oh, it's trying to drop bombs on me. It's gone. That was pretty big. Oh, little guy up there. <laughs> it's quite repetitive, but it is very fun. Surprised I haven't died yet. I did put it on easy, but still. I heard this game wasn't very hard. Maybe it's hard in non easy mode. Which would make sense. But usually, if a game has an easy mode, it's usually still hard. It's just, it's, it's got a very kind of uh, Terminator feel to it. The kind of, looks a lot like the, well, the future in, uh, in the Terminator movies with this destruct, destroyed dark landscape and. <laughs> um, it's also got a bit of a Robocop thing going on with the sort of the Walker thing like Ed 209. You have 20 seconds to comply. Or in this case, just die. 20 seconds to die. <laughs> Welcome to die! Oh. We'll use quick bursts to avoid overheating. So, yeah. Do without this speech actually, it's kind of pointless. Just slows down the action. Oh. Oh. Haha, <laughs> gonna take out their parachute splat. They should make like a lemmings noise when they die. <laughs> but yeah, this is Cygnosis, uh, and they always made good games. Well, not necessarily always, but usually. So, should have known this would be good. I would have loved this back in the day. Oh! The shields are down! Oh, but I seem to have like secondary shields on. So, there's so much you can say about a game like this, but it is fun. Apparently there are a number of different time zones you can go to, uh, which include like the future, well, the future to us but not to this thing. Oh, my shields are down and I'm almost, oh, I can actually shoot that now. Oh, it's like an airship. Oh, it's down. Good. Whoa. Is that the boss of the level? 
Ground targets. <laughs> oh, of course it's also like uh, Star Wars with the, the walkers in that. So, I've always wanted to... Oh no! Fuck! Oh. Unit 2, yeah. It's funny because the manual said there was only one walker, but I've got three lives. Am I starting again from the very beginning of the level? I hope not. That would be ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm kind of running out of things to say because this game is rather repetitive. Sorry, scumbags, but it is rather fun. I would like to see more weapons like missiles or lasers or something, but um, it's still pretty damn good. Lovely animation and explosions and decent sound and uh, even speech, which is quite good for the time. The backgrounds are a bit dull, but uh, that doesn't really matter because uh, it makes the units that you're trying to shoot stand out very nicely. This was cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Go to tinyurl.com slash jimplays to see categorized lists of all my videos.